So come with me. I want to show you a quilt that I made of a good friend of mine. And it's a portrait. So let me see if I can show it to you. Hi, welcome to Artfully Sew, where we get creative with our sewing, quilting, and upcycling projects. Today, I'm going to show and tell. Uh, I'm going to show you quilts that I made um, featuring Sammy. If you like what you see here, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out, okay? Like and subscribe. In the quilt I'm gonna show you, you'll see some techniques that I use. I think most people call it thread painting and I made it on my Janome sewing machine. Not my long arm, but my regular Janome sewing machine. I dropped the feed dogs and I drew with my needle to paint all the lines and shapes of Sammy. So let's get started. I gotta tune this thing. This is one of my favorite quilts I've ever made mostly because of the subject, but also because of the technique. I'm not gonna take time to explain the whole process right now in this video. I'll do that in a different video if you request it. But basically what I do is I take the photograph of Sammy. I made a photocopy of that, flipped the image, used fusible webbing to trace and attach the fabric pieces to this background that I had made separately and then thread painted over the top of the entire quilt. One of the things that's difficult about thread painting is, is that it can gather the fabric in places, especially that's dense quilting. So there are spaces where there's kind of divots in this quilt but I also think it adds a layer of texture that is interesting and pleasing to look at. I also have heard from people that they don't even realize it's a quilt until they get closer to see the stitching. After I quilted it using batting and a backing piece, I found this frame. It's actually from my grandma's attic and it just happened to be the right size for this quilt. I just trimmed it down a little bit, attached it to a piece of photo board and put it in the frame. One thing to keep in mind is that although sunlight is good for plants and for our attitudes and for cheering us up, it is not good for fabrics. So make sure that you do not hang your quilts or set them in direct sunlight. Direct sunlight is a no-no for fabrics. No, no, no. I think it's one of my favorite quilts I've ever made. Let's see how Sammy likes it. Stella the meerkat. <laughs> what do you think, Sammy? Who is that? Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And remember, you can artfully sew. Right, Sambo? See you next time. Right, Sam?
Oh, I love you too. Oh, she's a good bird.